I recently decided that I want to become even more minimal with my bedroom, everything in the house, and a quick thank you to Birch Living for sponsoring this video, but more on that a little bit later. And I recently just went through my boy's backup clothes bin that we had in the garage. I can link that video down below. The only thing I can really continue to declutter in this room are my clothes, my shoes that are up here, and then my husband's clothes, which he will have to go through himself. But our room is small and we really don't have any extra things in here. But I've been eyeballing some of these items in my closet that I'm gonna pull out right now because I know I don't wanna keep them. This declutter is a little bit different for me because I normally like to ask myself a few different questions like, does the item still fit? Do I wear it regularly? Can it work with other items in my wardrobe? And really, because I'm pregnant right now, I cannot answer any of those questions because the answer is no to all of those questions right now. But I know for a fact I have not worn this dress for a really long time. Probably in the last two years, I've worn it a handful of times. And I have a lot of other dresses that I really love, so I'm gonna let this one go. And then this is just kind of a hang around jumper outfit that again, the last few times I've worn this, I've seen a photo of myself and I just thought, why am I keeping that? So these two are gonna be donated. And now I'm gonna pull everything out of my drawers because I wanna go through and really think about each item because I get this feeling, I just feel like I'm going to wanna start fresh after I am done being pregnant. And I don't wanna feel forced into clothes that are probably way too small. And <laughs> I just wanna give myself a little bit of room for the things that are going to be fitting me right now and let those items go that I've had for a really long time that I just wanna move on from. I like to have a basket, a bin, a box, something to put everything in. So that way I can just throw it straight into the basket and later I can always go through it and sort if I want to donate it and all that. But for now I just throw it in there and set it aside so it doesn't get confusing as I'm pulling other items out. I want to take a little bit of time to talk about today's sponsor, Birch Living. Birch is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally conscious. Birch makes organic, non-toxic mattresses made right here in America with just four materials sourced straight from nature. Organic latex, New Zealand wool, American steel springs, and organic cotton. It is very important for me to have organic materials and natural products in my life. Each Birch mattress comes with two of their Eco Rest pillows made from recycled plastic bottles. They're breathable and better for the environment. And I find them extremely comfortable. I've had my Birch mattress for two months now after we redid our bedroom and it is so comfortable compared to our old mattress. With your Birch mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 25 year warranty. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, you get more than three months to make sure that you love it. If you don't, they'll pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. The best part about all of this is that Birch delivers your mattress right to your door for free within the US. It comes rolled up in a box and it is super easy to set up all by yourself. I'm excited to announce that Birch Living just introduced their newest mattress, the Birch Lux, launching October 6th. The Lux takes the comfort, luxury, and safety of the original Birch mattress to the next level. The Birch Lux natural mattress is crafted with responsibly sourced and sustainably produced materials, organic cashmere, organic New Zealand wool, fair trade cotton, and pulse latex. It is specially created with breathability, cooling, and support in mind and offers increased airflow and targeted zoned lumbar support, which is a great thing to have. I love my Birch mattress and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Birch. You can click the link below or go to birchliving.com slash Shannon for 400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. And thank you to Birch for sponsoring this video and thank you for supporting the brands that support my channel and family.
Now it's time to continue decluttering. What I'm thinking about as I'm going through these clothes is when is the last time I actually wore these when I could wear them. So I have kept all the things that I wore last summer and when they fit and I know I wore them very regularly. I've decided to just go down to one pair of workout pants because these ones I've never really loved all that much. So I'm gonna let these go and then these shorts I know were not really fitting even a year ago. And then these are just not really my style anymore. They're super, super short. So I tend to not wear these. And then this shirt is just looking a little worn. So I'm gonna let this go. And also I try to keep in mind because I'm trying to be more minimal is that I have a lot of shirts that I really love wearing. So why would I keep this shirt that I don't really love wearing just because I have it. So I'm trying to have that in my head as I'm decluttering this time and trying to think how much do I really need to keep and let these what if items or just in case items go. And honestly, these shorts are kind of hard to let go because I've had them for so long. I've probably had these for 15 years or maybe even longer. So yeah, it's time to let these go now. And also I'm not really organizing these drawers right now because I'm not accessing any of these clothes because I'm not wearing them because I'm too big. So the only things that I'm putting right at the front of the drawer are just my pregnancy shorts that I'm currently wearing. Let me talk through wanting to get through these items and kind of my thinking behind it. Maybe this can help you if you struggle to let go of things. Um, number one, this shirt, I just feel like I'm done wearing this, to be honest. I would always wear it as an over shirt and I think I'm just done with this style right now. It's just not, I'm not feeling this right now. So I'm going to let this go. These, I remember last time I wore them, they were looking very thread, not threadbare, but the they were tied on my legs and they were looking kind of pulled. So I'm gonna let these go. Again, and how many pairs of black stretchy pants do I actually need? I already have one that I just put back in that drawer. I have another one here, so I don't think I need four pairs of those. So I'm gonna let this one go as well. I really like these, but I just don't find myself wearing them. They're not super comfortable. And so because of that, I'm going to let them go. This is a sweatshirt that I've had for a super long time. So we're talking again, maybe 15 years or more, but it's again, it's not really my style anymore. I feel I have just kind of grown past this style. It's a little bit shorter and yeah, I'm gonna let this go. So I'm gonna let this go. And then while I really like this color, I love like a dark olive green as I'm wearing right now, but this is very, this kind of um, lace top area is itchy. And every time I wear it, I always think, oh, that's so uncomfortable. It's just itchy. So I'm letting this one go. And I'm left with all of this, which is still plenty for when I can fit back in to these clothes and I'm not opposed to buying clothes that I'm going to need in the between time of after having the baby and not fitting into these items because I know from having two other kids that I personally just do not bounce back super fast into my original clothes. <laughs> Out of this pile, I'm letting go of all of these items. 
Um, this is actually something I just purchased not that long ago. This was right before summer started. I purchased this two piece offline and I had no idea. I just took a chance because I couldn't find any pregnancy bathing suits anywhere and it just doesn't look right in the end. I tried it on. I thought I'm going to keep it just because I can't find anything. And then luckily at the last second before we had our vacation, I found a swimsuit that worked. So I'm going to get rid of this. It's kind of sad, but there's just no reason to keep this. Here are just three tank tops that I no longer wear. This is hard to get rid of these. Of course they don't fit me now and they actually were not fitting me <laughs> before I even got pregnant because I had gained some weight, but that's not why I'm getting rid of them because I know eventually I'll probably fit back into these. I'm getting rid of them because the last few times I had worn them, they were somewhat uncomfortable anyways. They kind of had to stretch to fit right. And I'm just not into wearing really overly tight um, things anymore, even when I'm thinner. So I'm gonna let these go. And it is hard for me because I've had these for a really long time. And I feel like sometimes when you have certain items that you've just had for so long, you just keep them. And I'm not really sure why because I've kind of been over these for a while. Here I just have a whole bunch of cover-ups, sarongs, and um, shirts. And if I didn't take these on vacation with me, now when am I ever going to wear these to be honest? So I'm letting all of these go and hopefully someone will be able to use these. I can't actually believe that I've been able to fill a whole entire laundry basket here. I am going to start on my shoes now. Everyone always asks me where I got these from. These are from Ikea. They're super affordable. They collapse completely flat. So I do really love these shoe boxes. Um, right off the bat, I'm getting rid of these. These are super worn out. I'm getting rid of both of these. Um, my foot just kept slipping out of them. And then these were something cheap I had bought a while back. And they're okay for a really short amount of time, but then they start to hurt my feet. And I am just one of those people, I cannot handle it if my feet hurt at all. I'm gonna let these go. They are very uncomfortable where the zipper is on the heel part. I'm letting the boots go. These were kind of a cowboy, sort of cowboy, that I kept after my last shoe declutter, but I've never worn them that whole time. So I can link that video down below where I talk about how I declutter shoes and kind of go into some tips and tricks on decluttering shoes, but I'm letting these go because I just have not worn them. And I honestly don't see myself wearing these in the future. I feel really good about letting this stuff go. I really want to become even more minimal and I don't know if that's the right word, but it's just keeping exactly what I use, what I want, and then if I need something, I can go to the thrift store and get it or I can go shopping and get it whenever I need it. If you're new here, you can hit the subscribe button to join my channel and you can tap the bell to never miss a video. They'll notify you of all the videos. And I also have a vlogging channel where we talk about our daily lives a little bit more and I go into projects that we're doing on our home. So you can follow that as well if you're interested and I'll have everything linked down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I just got an idea. I think it might be interesting to count all these items. So one, two, three, four, five pairs of shoes. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Oh my gosh, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. 24 items of clothing that I'm letting go of. Time to head back to the secondhand store. <laughs> Drop all this off. <laughs>